Okay, let's talk about Kirchhoff's rules. Kirchhoff's rules are the following. The first is called the junction rule, which says at a junction, the current in has to equal the current out. Okay, what does that mean? That means if I have a wire and it suddenly splits into two wires, whatever current is coming in here, let's say it's 10 amps, it has to go somewhere out of the junction. So it could be 5 amps going that way and 5 amps going that way, or it could be 7 amps going that way and 3 amps going the other way. Whatever current is coming into the junction has to go out of the junction. Namely, charge doesn't build up there, charge isn't depleted from there, there's no net buildup of charge, and so any charge coming in has to go out, which means the currents have to match up. How does that work when we're dealing with a circuit? Well, let's go back to our parallel circuit for a second. Let's say we have a battery, and now we're going to split into two different paths, R1 and R2. This thing right here is a junction. A junction is anywhere the wire splits into two or more wires. So that's a junction right there. And at that junction, we have to have current in equals current out. Okay, Current in is going to be I. Current out is whatever goes in that one plus whatever goes in that one. So we'll call it I going in, I1 to the left, I2 to the right. So I equals I1 plus I2. But we know what I is. I is the same as voltage over equivalent resistance of the whole thing, which is R parallel because that circuit we can draw like this. I1 is whatever voltage is across R1 divided by R1. But it's the same voltage, right? This is a wire all the way to the top of R1. And so that wire is an equipotential, and so the voltage across R1 is the battery voltage. But likewise, the voltage across R2 is also just the battery voltage. Okay? And so this is what we were talking about earlier. We can cross out all the Vs, they're all the same, and we get the parallel series or the parallel resistor rule, which says 1 over RP equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Okay? This is a direct result of Kirchhoff's junction, junction rule.